I'm already a bit into this project. I was not going to film it, but it's to my daughter Kim. And sometimes known as Kimmy Schwimmy, sometimes known as Kim Carter, but she's my daughter. And I had painted a chest for my daughter Elizabeth. And when Kimmy saw it, she said, oh, I want one so bad. So I had this little chest already. And my neighbor gave it to me. Cute little chest with three drawers. And so I have already put the primer on and I have gridded it. Uh, Kim likes me to explain how I do things. But this little chest, I, I decided to do royal squares on the top with the section that I'm gonna paint a little flower in the middle. That's royal squares. Then I'm gonna do my signature black and white all the way around all of these edges in half inch increments, black, white, black, white, black, white. And then on the sides, I'm going to do dashing diamonds with a flower in the middle. And I had to measure, I'm dealing with rectangles, so it needed to be an odd number uh, to come out the way I like for it to. So there's one, two, three, that's an odd number. One, two, three, four, that's not. But these are all gonna be the same color the, these are going to be different colors. You'll see when I start painting. And then the drawers are going to have a darker blue border around the edges and then stately stripes on the, on the uh, fronts of the drawers. So they're going to go all the way down, same color. Different colors, but the same color stripe all the way down, the three drawers. And I've already marked them off. They're half inch increments except for each end in the middle and uh, that's gonna be the dark. I'm not sure what that's gonna be. I'll wait till I get there. Um, but I've already picked out all my colors. I'm gonna use a turquoise, a really pretty pearl blue, a little lighter shade of turquoise, and even a little lighter shade of turquoise. It's gonna be uh, the squares on the top. And all the little, like I have a frame around this little rectangle where I'm going to do flowers, this little frame around it, it's going to be this darker blue. So um, I've already measured and uh, gridded it, so we're ready to start painting. And I'm doing something like I did for my daughter Elizabeth. I didn't put on a base coat. I'm just going to do the colors over where I gridded it. And then when I put all the gloss on, it looks beautiful. So I'm short circuiting it a bit with not doing a base color. Uh, so now I will get busy painting. Keep watching. It's Karen Spain of Karen Spain Designs. Please subscribe, like, and share. Alrighty. I've marked all the little squares the color that they're going to be. So I just have to paint each little square. I think I'm gonna do all the ones that are turquoise. start the diamonds. 
these all the way down are going to be this color blue. It's a metallic blue. I hear a rascal. My neighbor's dog that I love, rascal. Now I'm painting this for Kim. And she heard about the other day one of my grandsons in his 20s, so he's not a little kid by any stretch. But he asked his mom, let's go up to Nana's and let her teach me how to make fudge. Believe it or not, he wanted to learn how to make fudge. Well, this is a family recipe that goes back, oh my gosh. <laughs> I've had the recipes probably. 57 years and it was done before that for probably 50 something years so it's a very old recipe and it's the best fudge you have ever ever put in your mouth it's not too dark it's not majorly creamy it's I don't even know how to describe it but it's my favorite I mean, I've been to places where they make fudge, and I eat their fudge, and there's nothing like this fudge. So Kim says, Mom, can you please make us some fudge? I'll pay for shipping, haha. <laughs> and half of it with nuts and half of it without. But I'm not sure who it is who doesn't want nuts, because I love the cons in my fudge. But I will make two batches. I'll make one with and one without. And so what I'm doing is I'm painting this first. I'm going to do her chest first. And then while this, when I finish it and I put the clear gloss on it and it's drying, then I'll go make the fudge. And by the time I get the fudge done, we can ship all this up here. It'll probably be closer to, well, I say closer to Christmas. I'll probably get done before that because I'm pretty speedy when it comes to this stuff. Um, yeah, so. And my dilemma is up here what I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep painting because I know what most of it has to be. I figure this out as I go, folks, and sometimes I change my mind. Alright, let's see. The middle one is the lighter color. Down and down and down we go. And when all this dries. I'm going to paint a flower in the middle there where I painted the white. It's going to have a border of a kind of royal blue, a darker blue, a bluer blue than these. Okay, now I've just got to.
Designs. Please subscribe to my channel and if you don't mind, give a comment, share it, like it, and uh, I'll see you again on my next project. Goodbye.